darlings welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video if you're new here my name is Kat welcome and it's lovely to meet you I do lifestyle videos and I upload at least twice a week if this is something that interests you consider subscribing to my channel hit all the channel notifications so you don't miss any of my upload and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also share this one on your social media so hopefully it will give everybody you know or your friends some ideas too yes today we are back with a gift guide for him I uploaded yesterday ultimate gift guide for her so if you haven't seen it I will put the link on the description box below and also the past few weeks I've been posting gift ideas and stocking filler ideas for her and for him and it's also budget friendly so if you haven't seen it yet I will put all those links in the description box below so you can have a little look so today is all about him hence him is here anyway yeah this is Steven this is my husband and um, I thought it'd be nice if you know he's here so he can actually explain to you what some of these presents are all about because some of these are actually his you mean I've got to talk oh well you don't want to talk oh. okay I'm sure. but anyway we are going to start with this one it's a Viagra box are you allowed to say that I suppose <laughs> a little blue box but yeah, this is actually a very nice stocking filler. Having said that, I'm pretty sure you can give this as a present as well, especially for somebody that's into um, somebody that's into motorbike or any gadget sort of stuff. Somebody that does a lot of DIY and travel as well. I like the um, the case. And this one looks like a snowflake, and you can oh, I broke it already. So it is essentially a keyring but it's a functional keyring because then you'll have all these um, allen keys a star screw in there whatever that is I don't know if that's round but anyway you have all this kind of keys that you could actually use for especially when somebody that you know cycles or travel a lot this or is quite fiddle, handy fiddles about doing little jobs yeah comes in handy it comes in really handy. I mean, if you want to give it to a friend, this is a nice present. But maybe for somebody like your husband or, I don't know, boyfriend, then a stocking filler maybe. But yeah, I think that's really cute. And, it's um, quite solid as well. It's, it's it a, is heavy. It's a fair bit of weight in that. So, yeah. yeah. And I do believe that is from Amazon. We are going to put the link on the description box below. I don't know how much. How much is it? Um... But anyway, cheers guys. I'm having a cup of tea. It's probably gone cold. These two mugs are in fact from Free K in Guernsey. A long time ago. A long time ago. But yeah, so that's one idea. The next thing is perfumes, of course. Perfumes or um yeah, aftershaves are different, but you can also obviously, you know, give aftershaves if they like that one. But he doesn't. He'd rather have the perfume. Than after shave, you know. I've seen some men that they prefer after they shave. Actually, they put it, you know, and they just pat it around their faces. But for him, he'd rather have perfume. One of his favorites are, well, two of his favorites. In fact, one of these. That is my top. That is my ultimate favorite. This is the top, which is Isimiyaki. Love I think that. this is still the one I gave you. How many Christmases ago? Three Christmases ago. It's lasted well. It's a big it lasted, yeah. It's um, the thing with this, I think this is hundred mils. Thing with this, they don't come cheap. So, really, it is a little bit pricey. So he uses it very sparingly. And this, the other one that he really likes when I buy him was the Hugo Boss, mm -hmm. the original one. It's really nice as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, but one perfume that I always, always remember. With, the perfume he was using when we first met in fact it wasn't the perfume i think it was aftershave was it aftershave it was chanel no you, that's perfume was it perfume too Pied de perfume. that's the one so yeah chanel and uh, those top three he really likes obviously but yeah perfume you can never go wrong with perfume 
definitely. Or aftershaves, whatever your your man likes, or your your friend, or your son, or your stepson, grandson, whatever. But yeah, next one is jewelry. I just put this in this case because I couldn't find a case for that one. This is in fact my present for him, probably about six or seven Christmases ago. This is a chunky bracelet. We're meant to, you know, like engrave names there, but till this day, nothing in there. <laughs> I knew there was something I do. <laughs> jewelry, I think you cannot go wrong with jewelry. But having said that, I think he was one of those people, or possibly men in general, they're not really particular when it comes to jewellery. I don't know, he certainly isn't. Um, he only started wearing a lot of jewellery when we, you know, since we're married. And um, the very first jewellery I bought him was this. That I've been trying my best to get it off him. He won't take it off. <laughs> can, I, can I wear that? I'm like, no, I'll never get it back. So, jewellery, rings, uh, bracelet, necklace. Even if your man don't wear them, buy them something chunky and they can never say no to that. When I bought this for you, mm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, mm. Mm. I bought this one from H. Yes. Samuel a few years back in Guernsey. Mm. Now, girl, this girl looks after me. I like to see you wearing something nice, so it's not just me wearing nice. Next one is ta da! Or you might consider this a stocking filler. For the man who loves his DIY. For somebody that loves DIY, or if your husband or your boyfriend doesn't really like doing DIYs, or never, never, ever done DIYs, you can still buy them this. It's like a hint, like, <laughs> start doing it. <laughs> Makes life easier. Well, what is this, my darling? This is a gauge, contour gauge which is basically, if you mm. put that in like that, okay, basically, there's two in this particular packet, there's a 10 inch and a five inch, basically, if you're going to, if you're laying a floor, or you're putting skirting some board. new woodwork around a skirting board, or, you know, and you, you need to cut nice fit, basically, you just push that against, hang on, you just basically it conforms to the shape push that to yeah. the shape that you want and then you can yeah. make your marking with a pencil or pen whatever make your <gasps> marking make your cut my dad is going to love that hey my father yeah father is going to love that send him one <laughs> yeah um my father is a, a a diy man he does everything around the house and um, he does now actually so and this is available on Amazon. Is it in Amazon? It is on Amazon, yes. I think that's really quite handy. Um, to be honest, it doesn't have to be um, a present for him because if somebody that you know, like a friend, even a girl that likes her DIY, this is really... Yeah, it makes life easier if you're yeah. a DIY person, I mean, if you're a bloke or a woman. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I will, I'm going to put the link on the description box below, so if you want to have a little look. Next yeah. one is this. <laughs> a black mug. A black mug. This is not just a mug. This is a novelty mug. But basically, you can go to the Printer Picks website. Obviously, we're going to leave the link down below so that you can find it easily. You go to the website. You, you pick the mug you want. Yeah. Or there's other items as well. But you pick the mug you want. Add the photographs the way you want it and you can move things around and jig it about the way you wanted it. Um, and then when you finished, obviously pay for it and it gets sent to you mm. and magic mug. This one has got one, two, three, four, four pictures in it. And we are going to give this as a present, obviously. But yeah, he's put four pictures in this one that when you put boiling water, it starts to, this mug became white basically. And then you can see the photos like of your favorite, favorite person. Or your favourite pet, or your favourite, whatever it is. But yeah. Or a naked woman. Not me. We have a painting in this house of a naked woman. The thing is, this naked woman was an Asian woman. Now, when we had the workers, the bathroom <laughs> fitters came, and we went out, when they came back, they, they had to ask me. <laughs> is, that, 
said, is that you in that painting? I'm like, oh my God, no, that's not me. I said, I knew it. I knew you were going to ask me that. I told Stephen to not put it there because if people see it, they'll think it's me, but it's not me. I swear it's not me. I said, I will never have the guts to do that sort of thing. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Next is this lovely wallet in the past i have given him belts as presents um you can get some decent belts that you know belts that last long some branded ones i've given him in the past or wallet in fact it's a shame that we are on lockdown at the moment but actually i normally get him a nice wallet from tk max they have really nice wallets in there the last one he had was from tk max this one is from amazon and this is colourful inside and it's 100% RFID safe basically it means that when you've got all your cards in it credit cards and debit cards or the rest of it somebody can't scan oh yeah your card so you can't be scammed because it's got a protection inside it which stops that they can walk past yeah with with the with the contactless um if somebody some of the scammers what they do is they set up a machine I should imagine they probably just do it for a short period of time take the money out and then buzz off, I don't know, bogus accounts, whatever, but they've got a machine and they walk past you. Now, mm -hmm. at the, it used to be £30 limit on contactless, but because of COVID, all the companies increased it 45 So basically, they can go up to £45, set the machine, walk past you, mm. your go, wallet. go your, buy your, your wallet, pocket. go buy your back pocket and just yeah. go walk past you and, and just brush past you. And if there's a card within a distance, it'll go bidink. And then they've made 45 quid out of you, mm. and, you and you don't know until the next time you check your bank account so rfid safe stops that so they can't do it this comes in a very nice packaging there's a nice box that comes with it and so when if you're going to wrap it as a present it's actually beautiful to wrap because it's perfectly boxed but yeah this is called what's it tihon tihon but yeah so that's one idea for you go and check the link below and um i'm going to put those on the description box next one is this if your man your boyfriend or somebody you know or somebody that you're close with or your son your grandson whatever you can also get them one of these other favorite artists david bowie one it comes with a certificate of authenticity at the back it says here this item has been personally signed by david bowie in the uk in 1999 and it was purchased this was purchased on christmas eve 2008 that's what the authenticity certificate says and i think for somebody like him they'll be ecstatic to receive this one this one as well is it's just all memorabilia of their favorite artists I don't know if they do it now, but in those days, like a few years back, you can buy album like CDs. It's one of DVDs or... I, I remember running to HMV every time. <laughs> every time Christmas is coming. Well, I mean... They're still going. Yeah, they do. But oh, okay. I don't think a lot of people these days buy DVDs anymore, do they? Everything is on Netflix or now TV or Sky, you know. Streaming. Streaming. And, but I still have those collections anyway. I, um, I remember only a few years back he gave me this friend's collection of DVDs. You can't even watch it now. Well, yes, you can, of course, but they're on Netflix all the time now. Yeah, they are, yeah. Streaming, yeah. so I always yeah. watch them on Netflix anyway. Yeah. But there you go. That's one more thing. And last but not the least. Oh, and before we go, mm -hmm. they were on a break. <laughs> last but not the least, definitely not the least, is a watch or two. A decent watch that he likes. His, well, you never used to like your watch until I came along, I suppose. You're just happy to have I one. I do like watches, but nobody ever bought me any. <laughs> but yeah, I like buying him watches. But up until a few years back, I always buy him, like, you know, my first, not first trip, but when I went to Dubai, I bought him a watch at the duty free. That's when you went up, when you had to go on a visa run. Yeah. Well, we used to live in Bahrain, and then every time I go to Dubai for a visa run or like an exit, and then I came back and I saw this watch from duty free, and I bought that. That was the first time. And then the second time, I bought him something else, something quite flashy and, and, and you like it. But I, oh, but I realized 
I buy him watches, but then the batteries run out after what a year or two, and then you have to, you know, open it and put batteries. And I thought, well, surely you can get something without using any batteries. And I spotted this one. It's a Citizen Eco Drive. I saw it. I think I walked past H. Samuel at one point in Guernsey and I decided to actually save for it. I think I spotted it about three or four months before Christmas and I saved for that one and I, I bought it. This is what's inside of this. Um, a Citizen Eco Drive actually doesn't need batteries because it's automatic so it means you don't have to worry about opening it and putting new batteries every single time and when I bought this, I thought, oh, I can't wait for him to see it because he wasn't expecting any, excuse me, he wasn't expecting any watch because he, he had one at that time. It, it was quite a nice watch, rotary, eh? Mm -hmm. He had a nice rotary watch. So yeah, this is definitely a pleaser watch, chunky, something that's flashy, he's sold. After, I think, two years, two or three years, I saw this one on watch.com i think it was watch.com online i saw it online basically it comes like this it's chunky as well but it's a leather strap now we were talking about it because he always said he doesn't like anything that's got leather strap but i said i think it's quite there's something about the strap against a nice chunky face like that that actually is quite nice especially in the summer so I decided to buy this one I think what I did was I bought this but I sent it to my friend's house because I don't want him to see this one <laughs> you know it's like it arrives the post arrives at home and then he sees it and then you know I didn't want him to think anything so I've um I've actually sent it to my friend's house and then she came running to the house when this one arrived but yeah this is a Seiko and this is also automatic so no battery necessary definitely you don't have to worry about your watch being opened every single time then you have to change the battery and then if it's waterproof once you open it it will never be waterproof again is it so I think that's a hit for him and the only thing with this because this is automatic and um, it's solar obviously and every time you keep it in it doesn't work so you have to like you know leave it out again and readjust the time again so but at least no more batteries it comes with a certificate of guarantee as well now i can't remember how many years guarantees this one has but yeah it's been a few years but yeah i think that concludes our video for today and i hope it has given you an idea or two of what to buy your man and um i'm sure i'm still I still have a couple of, oh, what's that? This is my little man. Oh, what's that? Wait, wait, you got something in your eye. But yeah, I am sure I am still coming up with a couple of gift ideas here and there because I have a couple of bags there that I need to do a haul and I've not actually opened it yet. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did. We hope to see you on the next one. This is my little pickle saying bye bye. What are you doing? <laughs> this is my baby, my baby pickle. I have two men in this house. This one, my little man and that one. But yeah, Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope to see you next time. <laughs> bye for now. Bye. bye. <laughs> pickle, 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 pickle. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fringy boy!